Good morning, kitty. Thank you. Hi besties, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday around 11 o'clock and I just got back from my workout. I didn't bring you guys along today because I feel like I show it in every single video. But I also just made my oatmeal and I have my dirty chai latte right here. I've been drinking it. What time even is it? 11.24. Also, I'm in my new set active little set. This is what I wore to my workout today. Also, a little update on that. I'm literally psycho. You guys would have saw in the last vlog that I got a few things from set active, but... I tried this top on again and honestly it's just like very thin and doesn't have a lot of support and Rochelle has the same color so I'm just going to give her this one and then we placed another order today so I just got the box cut bra this one because it has a lot more support and then I'll show you guys what else I ordered. The way you guys know my one true love has a collection with set active and a few of the pieces restocked and i got a notification for it because i signed up to be notified so i got this set as well so i just got the box cut bra extra small in the color melrose place and then i got the matching leggings in an extra small as well and then yeah like i said this bra to go with the leggings but i just thought i would update you guys and if you we're looking to get a set and you guys are fuller chested i would suggest just staying to this style because it has the most support anyways i got kind of distracted but yesterday i got a slip in the mailbox or at the post office so i just went and picked them up after my workout class and i thought i would unbox them here with you guys i'm kind of nervous because i got a size six and i'm really hoping that they fit but I have to go to the mall today to pick up the pants that I got hemmed after 4 p.m. So if these are too small, I can just exchange them at the mall, which is like kind of perfect. And then I also need to get more Nespresso pods because I'm almost out. I don't understand why it went to the post office though because there was no duty or anything on it, which was weird. Aww. I also think I'm gonna see I don't know if I should sell my other dogs and still trying to figure out what to do. Why are you so, okay, she wants the elastic. Go get it. Cats are so weird. Wow. Those are so cute. I'm so excited about these but not excited to break them in. Holy shit, they're so cute. They're so heavy, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna put on a pair of socks and try them on right now. Okay, I need to take this out, but here is what they look like. So I got the 8053 quad, I believe is what they're called. Does it say on the side here? Yeah, the 8053 quad in a size six. I'm a 37, so I don't know. I talked about this in my last vlog, but my high top Jadens, they're pretty much this, just a high top. And I got them in a six originally, but I had to exchange them for a seven because they are too small. But I'm hoping that these will fit. I don't really know, but let me just take this out and try them on and everything and I'll come back to you. Look how fucking cute these are, guys. I'm so excited and very happy that I got these. The six actually fits perfectly, so... In terms of like the toes and everything, it's a little bit tight on this foot just because like my big toe is still kind of like swollen and everything. But I think maybe if I loosen it here, it'll be a little bit better. But I would say that they definitely do run small because they fit perfectly. I am just not over how cute these are and I want to wear them every day of my life. These are going to be <laughs> my fall shoe. I'm just very nervous <laughs> to break them in because I know it's going to be super painful, but I've done it before with dogs and it sucks for like the first probably five wears and then after that they're good. There's also a very similar style to these that were under the 1461 line. They just didn't have this lip at the back. They kind of just like cut and have like more of a raw edge 
if that makes sense but i really liked the lip at the back it looked a lot more comfortable anyways that is my unboxing for now i'll have these linked if you guys want to get them i will definitely be featuring them in some upcoming outfit videos for fall stay tuned for that i'm just going to hop in the shower cats are so weird hi so i just realized that this pot is way too big and it won't fit in any of my pots so that's annoying and i need to find a smaller one i also just listed a few things on my poshmark i just listed this on my instagram to sell i'm so annoying but i don't really wear the red that much and i already have a black size large so i want to get a size medium one and there's a new drop today with the cutest beige color i'll show you guys i screenshotted it and sent it to my friend so i'm gonna get that in a size medium and then i also just listed a few things on my poshmark i literally have no more room to put it in that bag of clothes i'm selling so i don't know what i'm supposed to do and i'm just really really craving another closet clean out i might do one within the next few weeks for fall. I need to deal with this. I don't know if I should maybe keep the box in case like I realize that they're too small, just in case. I think I might do that. I'll like put that in there. Just show you instead of telling you. The receipt in here. And then I'll just stick this for in there for now. Okay guys, it's a little bit later. It's 1.05 and I'm just about to curl my hair because it's looking a little frizzy and i don't really like when my hair just like dries naturally if i don't blow dry it or anything so i thought i would kind of show you guys how i do it because i feel like i always do a time lapse of it but i don't really ever do a tutorial and that could be fun so i just have this new me wand that i got from winners years ago I don't even know the size of this barrel. I think it's a 1.5 inch. I don't really know. It doesn't say there. And then for heat protectant and like styling stuff, I'm using the Jizu Gizu <laughs> Prepped Prime and Define Propolis Infused Polishing Primer right here. There is technically heat protectant in the way leave-in conditioner but i washed my hair yesterday so just to be safe i'm going to add this into my hair um it's basically a styling primer which preps your hair for styling prevents and diminishes frizz reduces drying time ensures blah blah, blah and adds heat protectant they sent me this a while ago and i love it so i basically just take a decent size Scoop. I don't even know what I was about to say and then I just run it through my hair from like root to tips It smells so good. I go in sections, so I'm just going to clip up like half of my hair like this is this even in focus? Why does my camera suck these days? My bathroom isn't really the best for vlogging, but basically I pin half my hair up and then I just divide my hair into two sections and then I do one section at a time. A decent sized piece like that and then on my left side I go around my head and then I wrap the hair away three times, just like that. And I hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you see how there's like a few inches left that I'm holding? I like to do that so that it's not damaging your ends as much and it makes it a little bit more beachy. So. I also just like to twist it after to kind of hold the curl. It looks like that. And then I just throw it behind and do that literally all over my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it off, twist it just like that. Okay, so that's the bottom layer. It looks crazy right now, but we're gonna brush through it after and I promise it will look good. And then on the right side, I 
do the same thing i go in sections but this time i stay on this side i turn the barrel upside down and then i do the same thing i twist away three times with a little bit of extra hair at the bottom and i count to eight twice one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight I don't switch directions I just do them all the same like on each side of my head just because I've tried to do the opposite direction thing and I just find I just found it didn't really look that good on me or I didn't know how to do it properly um so this is just what I found to work the best for me this side usually always looks better than my left I don't know why maybe because the barrel's hotter because I did the other side first here is the bottom layer and i don't brush anything through until i'm completely done so i'm gonna do the same thing take another section i usually do three sections um just because i don't really have that much hair i know sometimes it can take a while for people to curl their hair but for me it literally takes like 15 minutes kind of brush through it again because why not and then i do sections Okay, I think you guys get the point, so I'm going to speed you up and show you guys the final product. Okay, I just finished. As you can see, it looks very crazy, but okay, this piece needs to be curled a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? I don't know. Okay, so it looks super crazy right now, but what I do is I just take a brush. I just have the dry bar one, the lemon drop brush. And I just brush through everything to make it look more natural and kind of like lived in beachy waves like that. And then the same thing on the other side. And then I kind of brush back. I just brush everything out a ton, a bunch of different ways. And then I shake my hair. to really fluff everything out and you get like a really nice kind of blowout looking and then to finish it off i'm taking some of my jizu hair oil um just a little bit to put in my ends to make them not look so fried <laughs> i have a haircut tomorrow so it'll definitely look a lot fresher Okay, let's go in better lighting. <laughs> Here is what it looks like. It obviously falls out throughout the day, but I hope you guys found that helpful. And if I can find the curling wand, I'll have it linked down below. I just got dressed wearing the new shoes. I'm really excited for fall, so it's kind of a dark colored outfit, but I don't care. I'm going out for lunch with Jay, and then we are going... He doesn't know yet, but I'm going to drag him to the mall with me because, like I said, I need to pick up my pants and then go to Nespresso. So here's the full fit. Let's go because he's yelling at me to hurry up because he's starving. <laughs> From the mall and I can confidently say the blisters have set in <laughs> I first got into the mall and I thought it was gonna be fine I was like walking around everything was okay I was like whoa heels of steel but no I turned like halfway through I could feel them forming and now they are literally on fire so I just need to wear them in short doses it was fine like until I started walking around in the mall but I have a huge Nespresso box back there. I'll show you guys everything when I get home. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. I thought I would show you guys everything that came inside of this. So, I don't know if I properly explained it at all, but basically there's this welcome package that you can get with your new machine. Technically, I passed the date for it, but he just like made a new account for me type thing, like put me back into the system so I could get it, which is really nice because I didn't know that you could even get this until my friend told me. So, basically, you have to buy 15 sleeves to get the package. Um, so, I literally bought, I spent $150 at Nespresso, but we're stocked up. It's not like it's not gonna get used. Um, we would have spent that over time, you know what I mean? Not just in one purchase. There's a lot going on right now. I know I have a problem. So <laughs> I got five Melozo, five Bianco Leggero, one Alvazio, Girino, I don't know, Bianco Forte, Vanilla Custard Pie, Valtesso, and then it also came with this little tester kit of Colombia and Mexico. Okay, I'm gonna put those back in here. This could either go really good or go really bad. Okay, go. That actually went really well. Okay, and then for the welcome package, it comes with a little Nespresso tote bag, super cute. And then here's the thing that I was very excited about. So you get like two free mugs, which I've been wanting some of the mugs for a while. So here's what they look like. And you also get two spoons with it, which is super cute. And it just says Nespresso right there. I'm very excited about this. Good morning guys, happy Saturday setup not very good but it's 8 51 in the morning i just showered and everything and i'm on my way to get a haircut i think i talked about it yesterday but i'm trying to get cuts like every five to six weeks four to six weeks i think it's been i think it's been four weeks no i think it's been five weeks since i got one i don't really remember um, but yeah, my hairdresser told me that if I want my hair to grow fast and be super healthy that I need to get them pretty often. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just like a little micro trim. Nothing extreme. To the salon. <laughs> post haircut this lighting really sucks she also toned it as well because it was looking kind of orange i guess my hair just like doesn't hold a tone because it was bleached for so long but i think i'll show you guys when i get home but it feels so healthy she literally cut off like this much so i'll probably go back sometime in the end of september maybe but it feels incredible and I'm so happy. I love when she blows out my hair. It looks so good. <laughs> Wondering, I go to Tara Lounge and I go to Bianca. She just rents a chair out of there. She's so good. It's a little bit later, I just made breakfast because I was so starving. I forgot to vlog it, my bad. But here is the haircut in better lighting. I need to move back a bit. Here's the cut. It looks so good. It feels so healthy. Um, and I'm just really excited for it to grow even more. I look so pale. I need to fake tan It's so weird because my hair looks so orange in some lighting and then sometimes it looks Really nice and pretty and brown It looks good in this lighting. I've definitely mentioned it before but i'm trying to grow out my hair and taking the collagen and hair skin and nails vitamins has been helping So much it's already grown a ton since I last got my hair done but I want it to be like down to here and I just can't wait to see what it will look like when I have a blowout and it's all like nice and long and voluminous my hair is like so much thicker and healthier since I've not been blonde it's crazy with the little cut it looks so good and it will never look this good again until I get it done because I suck at blow drying my hair hey <laughs> 
Hey guys, I'm going thrifting with my brother, so I had to put on the overalls. Look how cute. These are from Maritzia. You guys would have seen them in a ton of my videos. I'm like obsessed with them. But it's like kind of cooler out. I change my outfits so many times a day, but I don't even care. And basically, I was looking online at fall stuff, and I really want like a super oversized chunky sweater that I can wear kind of as a dress with shorts under for fall but the one that I wanted on Linus was like $90 after shipping and taxes and everything and I was like hey I bet I can find something super similar at the thrift store so we're gonna go look <laughs> Okay, I'm back and I thought I would just try both of these things on to show you guys how they fit also because I kind of want to try them on myself. The sweater vest was 1016. It's basically just a lightweight charcoal gray men's sweater vest in the size large i thought this would be really cute with just some like baggy jeans and some sneakers for like a really casual oh my god bailey barking fall outfit i love wearing everything and anything baggy in the fall so yeah this is actually really cute uh, i just ripped the whole fucking tag off <laughs> this even came off with it this is from the brand hudson north in a size large I can't believe I just ripped that off. That's so weird. And then next up at Value Village. So I told you guys I was looking for like a really cute oversized knit sweater. I kind of had like a cream color in mind, but I found a gray one and this was $16.94, which is really expensive for a knit sweater at the thrift stores. Like, I don't know about you guys, but where I am, the thrift stores are really jacking up their prices. It's like kind of frustrating. This is from the brand Arrow, and I got it in a size extra large. I really like all the kind of like checkered stitching on it. I think it's really cute. I don't think I could wear this one as a dress, but I think this could be really cute with some denim shorts underneath. Or you could even tuck this in with some cowboy boots or sneakers or docks or something. A staple, you know, with some black leggings, some sneakers, a fall classic. I'm just so excited for fall. <laughs> so I'll probably go back to the thrift store a few more times before I order that sweatshirt that I want. Yeah, I'm on the hunt for just the perfect oversized cream colored sweater that I can wear as a dress. Okay guys, I just finished editing this vlog. It's later in the day on Saturday and I'm not doing anything for the rest of the night. Very exciting Saturday night for myself, but I thought I would just end the vlog here because I'm not doing anything. So I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely make sure to give this video a like Leave me a comment to show some support and help my videos get pushed out so more people can see them. Yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in a few days.